What's up ladies and gents, so I'm back today with a new video, I'm fresh out of the shower, hence the crazy hair, and uh, if you'll notice, I've got a lovely new backdrop for the videos, because I thought, you know what, uh, I'm tired of just having videos with my shelf in the background, I mean it's lovely that you guys can see all the books I read, but I'm pretty sure you don't want to see that every time. So, I've got a lovely mandala background, which you can see here, which um, loosely matches one of my tattoos. Anyway, um, I'm back today with a new video, and I'm going to be talking about something which, you know, it might come as a bit of a surprise to you guys. So obviously I'm a big lucid dreamer, I, I like uh, controlling my dreams and all of that jazz. Um, however, in recent months I've actually started to do a lot more dreaming where I don't control it. And there's a few reasons for this. So, <clears throat> you may have noticed that obviously I've been uploading videos a bit less and, uh, and that's because, to be honest, I've run out of ideas that will help beginners as much as they'll help advanced lucid dreamers and I don't really know like what sort of level you guys are at obviously I've got quite a few subscribers now and uh, you know it's hard for me to judge what level you guys are at so I don't really I'm trying to work out the best way of going forward with this and, and providing the best uh, content I can so I've been sort of researching reading uh, doing a few other projects as well um, but more importantly I've been I've been lucid dreaming less. I've actually been doing it less. So, and there's actually a reason for that um, because I feel like you need to have a balance, whether it's in your exercise routine, your diet, you know, your socialising, whatever it is. You need to have a balance where you're having like the right amount of everything. So I feel like, for me at least, uh, it's important to have lucid dreams and also normal dreams or dreams where you aren't as in control, you're not as aware, okay? And uh, having these normal dreams will allow you to sort of let go and to sort of be guided by the dream instead of by what you want to do. Uh, and the reason for this is that when you attain a certain level of skill at lucid dreaming, when you can reliably, fairly reliably, uh, induce a lucid dream where you can control it and you're aware you're dreaming, uh, you tend to get stuck in what I call the... Um, sort of self-gratification loop, right, where you'll enter a lucid dream and more often than not your reptilian brain takes over and you start looking for people to fight or people to have sex with or whatever. And you tend to get caught up in these desires and you don't really progress. So you're having lucid dreams, right, but you're not doing anything meaningful with them. Um, and, you know, I've been stuck in this loop before. It's, it's happened to a few people I've known. Uh, they learn how to lucid dream, but then they sort of plateau at a certain stage. and Every time they have a lucid dream, they just do the same things over and over again. They'll always have a flying dream, for example, or they'll always do the same thing. And I feel personally that it's good to let go of that sort of that desire and whatever, and actually let the dream guide you once in a while. And that's why, <coughs> that's why I've sort of taken a little break for the last few months, few weeks, whatever, uh, and sort of just had more normal dreams. But... Uh, I'll get on to sort of how I've done that and what I've used to have more normal dreams uh, in a minute. But yeah, I just wanted to sort of talk to you guys a bit about this and explain that you don't always need to control the dream, right? I know a lot of you are going to be thinking, well, wh what the hell is this guy going on about? He's got a lucid dreaming channel. He's saying you don't need to control the dream. You don't always need to, okay? It's important to have a balance of lucid dreams where you do active work, you know, you achieve things, you whatever, work on your emotional trauma, build up your confidence, uh, explore the subconscious mind, that sort of thing. But then it's also important, in my opinion, to have normal dreams where you're letting go, okay, you're just giving up control. And uh, there's, a, there's a beautiful um, sort of speech by Alan Watts about this called, I think if you just type into YouTube, Alan Watts Inception, uh, or Alan Watts This Life is a Dream, something like that. I'll try and put a link in the description. He explains that, you know, if you had all the power in the world, referencing lucid dreaming, uh, I guess you could say, eventually you would want something that is new. You'd want a surprise. You'd want to give up your control in order to just have an adventure that you don't control. Uh, you know, and at some point he's, he goes on to say you'd forget that you were dreaming. And as in just let go to the dream and, and have the dream guide you. So that's it, really. You know, uh, I just wanted to explain a bit about that and explain that if you haven't lucid dreamt uh, regularly or you're finding it hard, that's fine. And I have uh, a solution for that. You know, I have a, I created a program 
that you can follow which forces you to lucid dream within 30 days. Okay. If you do want to do that, I'll put a link in the description, but basically just go to howtolucid.com forward slash bootcamp uh, and you can find it there. But if you can't, if you don't want to do that, and if you don't feel like you can lucid dream easily, just have a break, you know, just have normal dreams, but instead work on the other side of the circle. So lucid dreaming on this side, and then on the other side, you could say you want to remember more of your dreams. You want to have more vivid dreams. You want to just have a more vivid profound adventure and, and you know there's nothing wrong with that when you wake up you'll still have the memories of that adventure and it'll still feel real so what I'd, what I'd suggest you do is if you want to lose a dream check out the boot camp if you can't or don't then have more vivid dreams and what I've been using recently is a supplement called Clary Dream uh, which is a, a dream enhancement supplement that makes your dreams more vivid now, I've been promoting this on Instagram uh, for a while. I've been mentioning it in a few blog posts as well, I think. Um, but, you know, it's basically a, a, a fairly new dream supplement which allows you to have much more vivid dreams. But the ingredients are so potent, okay, that, that you're only recommended to take it once a week, maximum. Uh, I've been taking it sort of once, twice a week. Um, but, you know, the ingredients are potent. It will, it does work, um, which is more than can be said for most uh, dream supplements these days um, so yeah go ahead and check that out if you want to get um, you know a bottle of clary dream have a, have a go the link will be in the description or you can check it out here uh, howtolucid.com forward slash go forward slash clary dream so that's it guys i will see you in the next video and if you are new please subscribe and leave a like leave a comment whatever let me know if you like the backdrop because it's new and i like you guys to tell me your opinions and that sort of stuff so I'll see you next time.